Sign up today. The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. Let's take a look at what is happening across the pond at the British pound. That's one of the things that we were looking at last week, if you remember, watching that dollar index. And uh, we went down to the exact price on Friday that we talked about. Let's just bring it up again just to show us folks that uh, – Sometimes these patterns work just spot on, and this one happened to do that. So we'll get it up here. We've had a pretty good rally off of this. So uh, we think there's a pretty good chance here that this bottom is in. We hit the exact number, folks. The 1.618 expansion came in at 92.51. The low was 92.51. And we've rallied quite a bit. Now, we've had a pretty good rally here uh, in the euro so far this morning, folks, because it has gone all the way to the uh, it's backed off 200 pips from the high and that is a very very big drop so uh, I would think that uh, we want to keep an eye on that you'll notice here when we get this it started on Friday and what we've done is uh, we've actually continued on uh, to go a little bit lower almost breaking the 117 level so that tells us that this ABCD has certainly uh, completed it came within five pips of the exact high and if we're looking at the same correction that we had back in June, you're looking at a uh, basically a 200 pip drop, and we've done that in the second day. So that tells us that with within a reasonable, you know, <laughs> nothing tells us for sure, but it tells us a pretty good story that yeah, that is probably a pretty good top, and whether that's going to be uh, good for a very long time or not, all I, you know, that's all I know. I do know one thing for sure. Well, if there is such a thing, if we go below 92.51 in the U.S. dollar index now, look out, because that is going to be a very, very bad sign. Let's just look at one of the other crosses that we've been following and how it relates to uh, the gold market. Let's bring this up and we'll take a quick look at it. You'll see here. Oh, by the way, folks, those of you that uh, have uh, courage enough to listen to me twice a day, I'm going to be on twice a day on Tuesday and Thursday. I'll be doing Tom O'Brien's show between uh, 3 and 4 p.m. on the 4th and then also again on the 6th. So just, oh, my goodness, today's Byron's birthday. Shut the front door. And it is a full moon. Are you kidding me? Wow, that's amazing. In August of a full moon, in, night, in 2004, on the 14th of August, my little grandson was born, who's now 20 years old. And uh, he is, uh, uh, that day I'll, I'll, I'll remember it because his name, uh, my daughter Jill, she named him Chase Moon Doyle because he was born exactly on the full moon. And because my sister, my sister, right? Oh, dear. Thank you, Joe Biden. No. <laughs> oh, that was a bad joke. Um, because my daughter's in, she, she likes to read, uh, you know, classical astrology. She named him uh, Moon. He hasn't uh, quite lived up to it. He has no interest in that kind of stuff. But the reason why I put this chart up here, this is the price of gold inverted. In other words, this, if you flip this over, you'll see that that is an inverted chart. But you'll notice how good it is at picking you know, some really big turns. Look at the March turn. You can see that one. Now, it didn't do too much for February, but it certainly had the March turn, and it had the turn in June just spot on. So uh, there's a possibility here that we could have, you know, reached some type of a top in the gold market. One of the things that we, we did talk a little bit about in the um, newsletter over the weekend, but um, the, the key one that we were watching, and if you'll remember, I'm just going to reiterate this because I think it's going to be uh, it might happen and let's just get this up here this is the um, 
the price of gold as we were looking at it from the folks in Singapore that were sending us these charts, these hedge fund guys. And you'll notice here that that arrow coming down, there's a potential for a uh, island reversal. Folks, the, the key to this, and I, I'll try to walk you through it, but the key to it will be at 1972 in the um, in the gold, if we if we close around 1972 today or tomorrow or later this week, and that's right on the low, and then we gap down, yes, that could be an island reversal. But folks, island reversal patterns are really, really rare. I mean, um, of course, with thousands of stocks, you can always find some, but they're they're quite rare. As opposed to ABCDs, they're not rare; they're everywhere. So that's the main thing to uh, keep an eye on. The other one that is very important today from our perspective of looking at patterns is this chart on the bonds. You'll notice that that Treasury bond uh, went right up to that 82, uh, 182.26. We're now trading substantially below the 182 level. I think we're going to be going down at least a little little longer. Uh, whether that's going to happen or not remains to be seen because they're starting to talk about negative interest rates again as they start to pump more money into the economy to try to, to cr try to keep everything alive. And uh, that is not an easy task to do. So those are just a few that we're watching. I did want to bring up one other chart uh, to try to explain that gold market just a tiny bit better. If it posted, and by golly, it didn't shut the front door and raise the rent, that didn't do as what I wanted it to do. But let's just take a look at the gold market since we're talking about it anyway. If you remember, we had Bill Meridian on. On Friday, he talked to us about the uh, cycles in gold. And you'll notice here that we are topping here in this gold cycle right here. And uh, that is going to be really interesting because uh, we have started down. The other thing that's interesting, folks, is, you know, I do follow open interest when things are making new highs and new lows. And we're making new highs in the gold. Uh, and we hit 2009.50 last night. We opened higher. We dropped 30 $32, I believe. Uh, yeah, I think just about it. No, exactly $30 so far. And uh, remember, the harmonic number in gold is 32. So if we start breaking more than 36 to $40 uh, an ounce in gold, that's telling us that that top uh, could also be in. And also, the silver could not make a new high. It couldn't even get just to the 61% retracement and backed off. And of course, platinum is still lagging badly. So we'll see how these things work out. Uh, Ruby's mentioning something about comets in there. Uh, I don't know anything about com I don't know anything about astrology, actually. I know the dates and stuff like that. But, you know, when you start getting into this really heavy astrology stuff, you know, it, it's I try to keep it as simple as possible with new moons and full moons and Mercury's and and uh, Venus. And those are the ones that are, those are the inner planets. So I, I can see the, the patterns and you get more hits. So that's what I try to use, because, folks, I, I I'm really good at short term trading. But when you start talking about long term stuff, you know, that it's it's harder. It's harder for everybody to do longer term stuff. So that's what I try to do is to keep your risk down to a point where, yeah, this is what it could be, and maybe it will be. But what you want to try to do is just remember that, uh, you know, it's only probabilities. It's all it is. You start thinking in terms of, uh, you know, uh, being right all the time, you're in big trouble because you have to manage your losses. That's where the whole thing is. you got to play defense in these markets, and that's a real thing. We'll take a break here, 877-927-6648. If you're not currently using the Taz Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The Taz Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. 
headed by Steve Dahl, Paz understands that in today's technological world, the use of top flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the Taz Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call, call, call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, a couple of charts that I think uh, deserve our attention. Uh, the first one we're going to take a look at here is this banking index. We've been watching this for quite some time. We don't always trade it because it's, uh, it's a good thing to watch because it's really how the money is moving. As you can see here, we had that uh, big high that occurred uh, back in December. It, it you know topped way early compared to the others a big a b c d pattern right up there and then you see we had a big move down we gapped below the 78 percent level that was in february when the virus was really starting to kick in and then we came all the way down bottoming on march 23rd like everything else we make an a b c d pattern exactly to the 61 percent retracement that occurred in june then we had a nice break at, on that break, we made a perfect one, three, five pattern. Th this is not rocket science, folks. You can do this with a pencil and paper and uh, a little bit of guesswork, but you can see the distance, the distance between one and three and three and five were very close to cyclical patterns. And the pullback on, on point five was exactly, not, not almost, but was exactly 61% of uh, point three. And it was 50% of point one. And what did we do? Here's the key. It, the, hey, this is my two cents worth. And remember, if you pay more, you've overpaid. But if you look at the rally that we've had over the last two weeks, all we've been able to do is to make a 382 retracement. Folks, that is not bullish. Uh, you know, it really isn't. When you stop and think that that should have popped out of here and really – you know, gone pretty far. And we've had some pretty good news. You know, Mr. Buffett came out and uh, basically was buying more of uh, Bank of America. 
And, uh, you know, Jamie Dimon's outfit looking pretty good. Wells Fargo doesn't look too good, but some of the other banks, the European banks, this is where the problem might lie. Now, this was sent to us by a friend across the pond, and I all I'm doing is sharing the charts, folks. I can't do any more than that, but this is the, uh, this is the uh, European banks, and we're going to take a quick look at this, I believe. I'll make sure that's what it says. Yep, this is the European banks, and you'll notice here that we are getting ready – to uh, we've had three lower highs here, as you can see here, between that six uh, thousand and uh, four thousand level, and we're now at twenty one hundred, and looks like we're ready to take out the the lows of March. And oh my goodness, if we do that, this is going to be a pretty nasty chart. So let's uh, let's I don't you know I'm not trading it. I'm just saying you got to watch these European things because you know some of these things start in Europe. Sometimes they start here in the United States, but when they do, and when they do, that's when you have to pay close attention. The good news is that you know the death rate is still relatively small here. I'm changing subjects as you can imagine in the virus, which is good, and uh, the old people are still you know dropping like flies, but we drop like flies when the time is right anyway. So that's to be expected. The good thing is little kids are not being affected too much, and uh, maybe we're within six or seven months or six or seven years of this getting over. But uh, my goodness, the news is out there for everybody to have fun with, no matter what they like to see. That's the main thing that you got to remember here is to trade the charts and don't listen to the news because the news will get you in a lot of trouble. I want to share a few other charts that uh, were brought to our attention by uh, – hold on one second here – and by other people. Here's one from uh, Tom LeClellan on uh, the Bitcoin. I wanted to bring this up. Now, hey, I'm not recommending any of this stuff. I'm just showing you here. Yes, na natural gas is looking pretty good, Bob. It, it really is. We're uh, quite friendly to natural gas, and it's starting to move pretty good. Here's the Bitcoin, and what he's showing here is that there is a uh, open interest in the um, um, Bitcoin futures. Uh, it never really got very far. I think we're up around 5,000 is the open interest in the uh, the Bitcoin futures. So it hasn't really hasn't really done very much. But the open interest has certainly popped up here recently. Well, open interest is good. That means you got players coming in. So I don't see anything negative about this chart at all. That just you got more players coming in. He's saying that the the crowd is chasing a rally. Well, hey. The crowd that's chasing the rally in Apple are having a pretty good party, pretty nice party over there. So I don't see anything negative in that bit, Bitcoin chart. I have to disagree that, yeah, there are the open interest is increasing, but prices are increasing too, and that's actually a good thing. So I'm keeping that on the plate because it certainly looks like it wants to, uh, you know, wants to uh, go a lot higher. That's what it looks like. Let's move over to the gold just a little bit. Someone's asked a question. I'm going to try. I'll cover natural gas in just a second. But here is the uh, the shorter term pattern in gold. This is just the 15 minute chart. Uh, you'll notice here that we've made higher highs the last three days, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and today. Um, and you'll notice that we did get up to 2,950. Well, we got all the way down to the uh, 181. The uh, the thirty dollar thirty two dollar harmonic number comes in there at around uh, 180, I believe, somewhere in that ballpark. But the ABCD here that we're looking at is 1973, and that's why I mentioned 1972 because if we close below 1972 today, tomorrow, and uh, get down near that 1952, and then gap down below that 1952 level. That would leave that island reversal if we do get an island reversal. But that's a very rare pattern. And I don't I don't try to go to the grocery store looking at a pattern like that. The pattern that means a lot to me on this chart is the fact that we had the high last night at two, 2009. We broke all the way down to 1986. Okay, and then what we do, we rallied up to the 382 retracement at 1996, and then you made three lower highs. You can see them just as clear as a bell. The market rallies three or four dollars into those highs, and we're heading down to 1973 is what it looks like. Now, if we don't if we don't get below the 1980, it's not going to get to 1973. So that might just be enough because it's almost equal to what happened on Friday. 
And you'll see what happened on Wednesday and Thursday. We actually went from uh, 1996, we went all the way down to uh, 1952. We dropped uh, $44. So, you know, these things are, they're not for the faint of heart, but what you try to do is you, you narrow your pattern down to a little 15 minute chart to, to find an entry if you're bullish. And if you want to be buying gold at 1973, buy it. If you want to buy it at 1980, buy it, but put a stop in. Because the open interest is dropping dramatically in the gold market, folks. Not a little bit, dramatically. I'm talking to the tune of about uh, about 5% over the last three days. That's not a good sign. This is what happened in August of 2011 when we were trading at 1931. I happened to be in Hong Kong, and I was interviewed by the Western edition, Eastern, <laughs> the Asian edition edition of the Wall Street Journal and I was talking about this potential top because it was making a three drive pattern and it was also uh, seeing this huge drop in open interest in gold and silver which means the players were leaving the market. That's different than what that Bitcoin thing is. There's a lot of open interest is coming in into Bitcoin so that's a good thing. But open interest leaving means they're they're going to a different restaurant. So you got to pay attention to that. You know, it's not something to, to, to tread lightly. Below 1972, gold's going to have some problems. That's my that's my assumption. Silver is acting quite uh, weak. You know, we didn't even even though it's had a tremendously bullish weekly chart. I mean, if you get a three or four dollar break in silver, folks, we got to be ready to buy these things because the gold and silver, you know, longer term, you know, could go a whole lot higher. So. I hope that's confusing enough. 877-927-6648. Larry Pesavento watches the markets 24-7, and now is a great time to try out his daily trading service, Fibonacci 24-7. Larry publishes videos and charts for subscribers throughout the week when warranted, and every weekend he puts out a thorough report covering worldwide markets, futures, commodities, and currencies with Fibonacci retracement levels, possible trading setups and zones, and stops and targets for all recommendations included. Larry applies the principles he's developed over decades of trading while analyzing a variety of markets for subscribers. To see for yourself the types of videos, charts, and analysis that Larry provides for his subscribers, sign up for Fibonacci 24-7 today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under the newsletter tab. You'll also gain instant access to Larry's archived subscriber webinar from earlier this year. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Sign up today. If you're a trader in the market looking to find the path that leads to maximizing profits while decreasing risk, then now is a great time to try out Dave White's daily trading service, The Path of Least Resistance. Through the use of options and equity trades, Dave advises his subscribers on a daily basis of the current market conditions and what possible trade setups are on the horizon. The Path of Least Resistance is published every trading morning, often with updates intraday when initiating trades or closing out positions. Dave White has advised his clients of some outstanding winning options and equity trades in recent months, and now is a great time to try it out for yourself. New subscribers to the Path of Least Resistance receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the types of options and equity trades that are available by signing up for the Path of Least Resistance today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com and selecting the newsletter tab. Sign up today. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed 
designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, moving over to one of my favorite specialties, uh, natural gas. I'll let you decide why it's my specialty, but you'll see here that we are very close to making that ABCD pattern we've been watching for months. That's a little above the $2 area, and uh, we had a really strong blast-off day today. Had a 382 pullback on Friday, and this is a very bullish sign, folks. I think we'll probably exceed that easily when we do uh, get there because it's not very far away, trading at uh, nearly 199 So remind ourselves that this does look bullish, and uh, I think we're going to go a great deal higher. Remember, this stuff used to trade at 4 and 5 dollars a square a cubic foot if you remember mr z was bearish around that time and that's exactly uh you know what happened the market went all the way down to that 150 level so we'll see how that walks out now folks in the den they're talking about their wives trading folks let me explain to you something women are better traders than men and the reason why is they're usually more conservative and they're they don't have to have a testosterone rush, you know, to feel like they're having some fun doing this because that's it. I have when – I, when I did my first 200 uh, students, this is going back 30 years ago, I only had like four women out of the, of the 200. And uh, lately, uh, you know, you probably get 50-50, but the women are better because they, they, they're a little more calm and that makes it easy because when, you, when you're uh, – <laughs> when when you're when you get nervous doing this, it's it's really really tough. You got to be able to trade in an environment that you're free of doing this. Let's take a quick look here at the silver because uh, I I got a little confused there when I told the folks. I still think we could see thirty five hundred dollar gold. And look at silver here, folks. We went down and made that ABCD down there at the bottom at 11, 11.92. Uh, we've rallied. Uh, can you believe this? We've rallied, what, $14 an ounce in silver. Uh, you know, remember, folks, uh, since the time I've been doing this uh, with TFNN, which goes back to 2007, I said anytime you can buy those silver rounds for 14 bucks, you know you should buy them because I, you know I I think they'll go a lot higher eventually. someday you'll probably see silver at uh, considerably higher than that $50 an ounce that we've hit three times. But the the expansion number that we made here on this last bump up here to the uh, 2620 level that was a uh, basically a 61% retracement from the high in 2013 not 2011 but 2013 so this is a much lower high than 2011 because 2011 you know silver got up to 49 bucks again so this is why it's so important here and we've been up for uh, quite a few weeks so we're due for a correction so a little three or four week correction in silver taking it down to the old highs there at 21 dollars would be and that'd be a 382 retracement would be a very very you know, uh, sound place to look to be a buyer of the silver. But right now, I think we're in a correction. But again, I'm just looking at the – and the open interest in silver is not dropping like it is in the gold market. The open interest in silver is moving up a little bit. But, I mean, very small. I mean, it's a few thousand contracts. But with gold, you're seeing big drops. I mean, that's, that's a big – and that's – the gold is six times the – you know, the uh, liquidity of this because it has the open interest six times what the silver is. So that's why we need to pay a, a close attention to it. But a buy, uh, and we get the silver down to that 2150 level. Uh, of course, this is a weekly chart. It's going to take several weeks to get there. If it did it in about three weeks, that would be great. Five weeks would be great. Seven weeks would be great. Eight weeks would even be better. If it took eight weeks to get down to that 382 retracement in silver, that to me would be a really good buying opportunity on a longer longer term basis but you know you can't trade longer term here on a on the the 3rd of August when you're looking at uh 
you know, something that could really be, uh, you know, it might take two months to get to that level. It might be, you know, mid-September or early October. Who, who knows? But that's what I'm following now is to try to, you know, find a pattern that you can make a few dollars on. Uh, we were trying to sell the gold last night at uh, 2027. Uh, we only got to 2009 and it's backed off. So far, it's held that low, I believe. Let me double check here. And uh, we'll see if that has held the low. Uh, where are you, gold? Yes, it held the gold okay. 1981 or 1980 and a half, I think, was the low so far. We're trading at 1984. Uh, that's holding. That's holding okay. Uh, the crude oil is uh, should be headed lower pretty soon. Uh, the stock should have made a high earlier in the morning. What we'll do here, just for kicks and giggles, let's just have a little experiment here this morning since we've got a stock that is going absolutely crazy. And we'll just bring up the OI, AI, import, uh, AI pattern here. <laughs> You'll see here we got uh, Apple trading around 433, 432. Uh, it says it's going to top at around 1115. So between 11 and 1115, look for a top in Apple because if this cycle is correct, Apple might sell off for two dollars. Could get all the way down to four hundred and thirty. Who knows? But boy, that's been a really powerful one. You can't stand in front of those. I've also been asked to talk about the cycle that uh, Larry Williams uh, has brought to our attention, which was this uh, this stock market forecast that he had uh, topping on uh, July twenty eighth. Now, if you look at the Dow Jones and you look at the Russell and you look at the New York Stock Exchange Index, this thing topped right around July twenty eighth. But if you look at the NASDAQ, I mean, the NASDAQ is only about 10, you know, 8 to 10 stocks, and they're the expensive ones. Uh, that's a totally different market. That's a 1,000-pound gorilla in a, you know, a jungle full of monkeys. So you got to be very, very careful. Yes, sir. The full moon comes in at 11.59 today, just, just in time for lunch. So it'll be interesting to see how the markets uh, react as we go through here. Uh, we, are, As I mentioned before, I will be doing Tom O'Brien's show on Tuesday between 3 and 4 and also on Thursday between 3 and 4. And I'm going to have Bill Meridian as our guest on one of those days, uh, probably either Tuesday. It'll have to be either Tuesday or Thursday because uh, the rest of the folks don't get it. Uh, you know, they don't get to hear him too much. And then also I'm going to have uh, Stan Harley on one of those days, uh, Tuesday or Thursday. So we'll have Stan and uh, Bill Meridian on, and also Shane Smolian will be kicking in a little bit on that. So we'll have some guests uh, for the Tom O'Brien show on uh, Tuesday and Thursday. Okay, question someone asked to arrive, what can, what's the high going to be in Apple? Uh, okay, folks, a $433.75 a share. Add $3 to that, four thirty six seventy five, and that will be the all-time high in Apple, never to be exceeded in our lifetime time uh, uh, judge's ruling now that was to that was a little joke folks i because i don't know what the high is but nobody else does either you know we're trading at what 432 this morning i just posted something that is a probability it's nothing more than that all of these things are probability you know given the fact that the government can come out and print money you know, hand over fist like it's been doing for the last uh, since 2000 and what uh, uh, seven when we had the the first current financial crisis when the uh, quantitative easing was uh, uh, copied from Japan. Well, they're just copying it again. Someday this stuff will turn over, and when it does, you know, you're going to be able to see it. But right, and you're starting to see signs right now. You know, you're seeing, you know, the, the Dow Jones is not going crazy. The Russell's certainly not going crazy. So let's take a break. 877-927-6648. Keep those cards and letters coming in, folks. The gold market has taken off topside in a large way in 2020. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my gold report. The gold report took profits in four of its equities in the gold portfolio in the first week of January for a combined profit of 99.2%, with two positions left in the portfolio that have a profit of 67.5% as of January 7th. 
The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Will the S&P 500 continue to climb? For bold trades on U.S. large cap stocks in either direction, trade SPXL, SPUU, or SPXS. Direction's daily S&P 500 bull and bear leveraged ETFs. Direction leveraged ETFs. An investor should carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risks, charges, and expenses before investing. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a fund's prospectus and summary prospectus, call 866-476-7523 or visit directioninvestments.com. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. The Bull Bear Trading Hour with Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Next. Okay, folks, if you have any questions, 877-927-6648. And I uh, just want to hold on one second here. I want to make sure I get everything lined up. I wanted to share a couple more charts that uh, people have sent me that may or may not mean anything, but they are interesting ones. Here is one from our friend Rich Anderson. Let's get this. Oop, let me let me expand it a little bit so we can see it a little better. This is from Bloomberg, and we'll get it up here so you'll be able to see it. Hold on. Uh oh, shut the front door and raise the rent. What happened here? Uh oh, did I get knocked out of the den? Oh dear. Uh oh, I don't know what's going on. Oh, this is terrible. Ah, shucks. Yep, that's what's happened. I've been knocked out of the den. Now, I, I, let me post. Well, I can't even post a chart. Shut the front door. Just a second, folks. I'll have to log in to the, to the den here in just a minute here to see if I can do this. I don't know how I got knocked out, but uh, hopefully this will come back on and we'll be able to get it. Anyway, it's just showing the S&P, uh, the difference between these mega, mega stocks like uh, – you know, Apple, Microsoft, Amazon, Google, the FANG stocks, you know, and Netflix. And Netflix looks bearish, by the way, as does Google. But uh, the rest of them certainly look very, very bullish. But unfortunately, I'm not able to uh, bring the thing in to uh, be able to see where we are at this particular time. Then we'll be able to uh, see what's going on. Okay, just give me a second, folks. I'm there we go. We're getting a little closer here. And we'll make you maybe make a little recovery here. And we'll be all right. And this should do it. Uh, test and see. Uh, let's check and see if we're coming in now. Broadsword to Danny Boy. Broadsword to Danny Boy. Come in, Danny Boy. The chicken is in the pot. The eagle has landed. 
Can anybody hear me? Can anybody hear me? It doesn't look like I'm coming in there. Hey, we're coming in good. That's what we want to hear. Sorry, folks. I don't know why I got knocked out of the den, but uh, who knows? All right, let's take a look here. Well, I thought, well, I lost you. That was the problem. Here's the chart I wanted to show you. This is the 500 mega cap, S&P 500, showing you the mega cap growth versus the others. And you can see what the real market has been doing. That's the lower arrow down there at 85 versus the, the mega stock. Stocks and it's up here to 135. That's about 20 stocks. You're looking at well here. He's he's it's less than 20. You got Microsoft, Apple, Amazon, Google, uh, the Google Class B, uh, Facebook, uh, Visa, uh, MA. I don't even know what MA is. The Nvidia, N Nflex, and Adobe. Uh, MA. I don't know what MA is. Somebody help me with MA, whatever that is. I don't know what that happens to be, so we'll see. Anyway, those are that's basically showing you the market is being distributed, you know, quite nicely to the other parts of the things, but the, the technology issues are uh, really going, you know, to the upside. There's nothing you can do about that. Ah, MasterCard. There you go. Thank you very much. Well, I should have guessed that because Visa was in there, but at uh, 6.45 in the morning, I'm not going to guess it. Remember, folks, we're in the monsoon season here in Tucson, which means we get rain many times real early in the morning. And and I you know have a surge protector and everything, but uh, that doesn't always help because these things can really be wicked. So if you get knocked off, you'll know uh, that's the reason uh, that's going on here. Uh, this is the third question that someone's asked me: What is the high? Uh, what is the high in Apple? And I've told you three times: it's uh, it's going to be four hundred and thirty-six dollars and seventy-five cents. That's going to be the high in Apple for your lifetime, my lifetime, and all lifetimes together. Folks, that's just a guess. And most of the stuff you see on the Internet is just a guess. Look at the stuff that you have to deal with. I mean, people send me things that it would take me probably two weeks just to read it all. And that's on a daily basis. So all I do, folks, is I, I look at the charts and I look at the buying and selling over a period of, you know, a couple of months so I can see what the patterns are. And the patterns repeat over and over and over. Oh, it's 443. Well, I stand corrected. Uh, so we'll see. 444, 445, 446, 447. What is the last on Apple? What are we at? 30, 3219 or something on the Apple? Oh, dear. Now I've lost data. What are you guys doing to me today? This is not good. I don't like to start the day like this. Shut the front door and raise the rent. Anyway, watch the time frame at around 11 to 1130 in Apple. That'll be an interesting one, you know, to pay close attention to because that's going to be a very interesting cycle that, that is coming up. It's last of 44.72. Wow, very good. Wow. And what was my my guess was 446.75. It's getting closer, huh? All right, let's take a look. Okay, all right. Um, the Treasury bonds, folks, uh, the, the, about this thing about interest rates, whether they're going to be negative or not, to me that is the silliest thing in the whole world, negative interest rates. Anybody that's going to give somebody the money with no guarantee that you're going to get it back and no return, come on. You know, you don't have to be a rocket science to figure that, that a third grader could do that. You take away the Oreo cookies from him and say, we're going to hold these cookies for you. And maybe someday we're going to let you have the cookies back. Do you think that four year old is going to fall for that thing? Absolutely not. No way, Jose. So it's the same thing with the Treasury bonds. Another question people have asked me about the politics coming from China. <laughs> Folks, you've got the two biggest powers in the world that are saying who's got the biggest uh, sword in the business. And I, you know, the good part about this is that they're so far away that the chance of us having a, a physical military war with them, I think, is relatively small. The odds are very, very heavily against that. You know why that is? In 4,000 years, China has never attacked anybody, they've never been the aggressor. 
you know, they've been attacked, but uh, they they don't do aggressive stuff. They do it sur surreptitiously, of course, but they don't do aggressive things. So that's why I don't think we're going to have a, a war with that. If we have a war, it will come from somebody like Iran or North Korea, where you have the don't be afraid of the person that has 50 nuclear weapons. Be afraid of the person that has one nuclear weapon. So that's what we have to worry about. But that being said, we still have these patterns to work with each day, and that's why they're fun and that's why they're uh, they're important you're absolutely right Duffy I've I had the same experience I've had some many many trips to China and uh, it was really uh, really a lot of fun I, I didn't have any problems ever so we'll see okay um, the uh, Apple 4472 remember what I said folks 46 446 75 will be the hap, hap high in Apple right around 11. Uh, 11.15 to 11.30. Actually, it'll be, oh, the full moon's 11.59. So you got to give it, it'll top right on the full moon at 11.59. How does that sound? What is that for a prediction? We'll see how that happens tomorrow. We'll have to go from there. And as you can see, I am uh, struggling to get, oh, I do have a great one here. Hold on here just a second. There you go. We got to see a chart here. Talk about relatively crazy markets. Look at this one, folks, going back to 1932. This is RCA, Radio Corporation of America. This is when electricity was just getting popular, folks. Okay, and look what this thing goes from uh, 550 all the way down to, uh, what, $4 a share? And it took it 30 some years to get a, uh, well, it never went back above that. But the, this is in a time when we, and in the 30s, folks, we're having some of the greatest inventions electricity, air conditioning, elevators, you know, just all kinds of stuff. And yet we went into the, the, the greatest depression ever, not getting out of it until 1938. 877 927 6648. Back in the day, I joined Hotel California in 2006, and like many of you, was drawn in by, as well as, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. You see, I believe that everything in life happens for us, not to us. And Tom ignited the fire within me to want to learn how to master the markets. So how did I go from knowing nothing about technical analysis to becoming the number one market timer for the S&P 500 in 2018 and the number two market timer in 2019? Simply put, I hired coaches with a proven track record, which led me to a whole new set of tools that I created to interpret the message of buyers and sellers. I would love the opportunity to teach you this award-winning set of tools and to help you improve your market timing. You can test drive my newsletter service, Mastering Probabilities, for the next 30 days with no risk to you. Plus, you'll gain access to archive workshops that'll take you step-by-step -step through my system. Sign up today by going to the homepage of TFN.com and selecting Mastering Probability in the newsletter tab. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. With markets trading with extreme volatility and peaks and troughs everywhere, regardless of what you're looking at in the markets, this is a great time to see the type of analysis Basil Chapman delivers for his subscribers every market day with the opening call newsletter. Basil has been analyzing markets, providing his take for subscribers to his trading services since 1984. Every morning, Basil publishes an update for his subscribers, along with weekend and evening updates when warranted. The opening call provides traders a daily market overview with regard 
regard to the direction of the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, along with specific recommendations, including stops and targets. You also gain instant access to Basil's subscriber webinar archive from earlier this year, a dark cloud cover, and essential market analysis. Ride the Chapman wave today by signing up for the opening call newsletter on the front page of TFNN.com under the newsletter tab. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Sign up today. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, I've posted the chart of Netflix. Uh, this stock has gone from uh, 260 way back in September all the way up to 580. Didn't even get to $1,000 this year. Boy, it must have been bearish. The ABCD measured to 561. We did get up to 589. But you notice this BC leg that is just forming right now is about uh, twice the correction that we had way back in June at that 382 level. That is actually a negative uh, for a uh, type of a, cor a correction because it's it's a lot more and it's happening quicker. So that's a, one thing to look at. I wanted to do uh, one of the other. Uh, oh dear, now I'm losing data again. This is not good. Oh dear, shut the front door. Uh oh. This is the bad sign, folks. I am out of memory. I knew I waited too long. I've got a brand new computer over there, and I haven't been able to hook it up yet. And I'm uh, certainly going to uh, starting today, most probably. But it says that I'm out of memory, and I don't know why I am, but I'll figure out how to get around it through this time here. Remember, folks, the key thing to look at today in the gold is if we go below that uh, 1980, that would be the first sign. And second sign, we get below 1972, that would certainly tell us that, uh, you know, we're looking at something that is, uh, you know, not uh, not very good. That's uh, basically what we're what we're paying attention to here uh, today. Now I'm concerned about uh, not getting data and being out of memory. I've got this brand new spanking computer over there that I haven't been able to hook up because of my fear of computers, but I will get this taken care of. we got the show coming up to the end. Now remember, I will be on twice this week on Tuesday and Thursday between 3 and 4 for Tom O'Brien. And uh, that's another one that we want to uh, to be looking at. Yeah, I know the finish line is right here, but as the finish line comes, I want to make sure I get there to the last minute. Uh, I do believe, yeah, Mr. Z, I do believe the beans are getting ready to rally. They don't have to get up much from here, but they're acting bullish. Every time they back off, they come right back up, and that's a good sign. And the weather is uh, sort of, you know, giving us a little bit of help there. So we'll see you folks on the flip side tomorrow. Live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless. Music.